One of the questions I get most from families looking to relocate to Phoenix, Arizona is, what the heck do you do all summer when it's like an oven out, particularly with small children? The answer, splash pads. No, not those splash pads, these splash pads. Did you know that Phoenix has over 50 community splash pads? Come along with me as I share my top seven splash pads in the valley to keep cool this summer. Stay tuned to the end for one that is a real treat for parents. I'm Heidi Littleton, Realtor with My Home Group Real Estate, serving the Metro Phoenix area. Let's get splashing. Let's start in the North Valley at Liberty Park in Anthrum. This park often gets overlooked since there's a much larger community park and it's tucked in a neighborhood. There are dozens of fountains at various heights, two movable sprayers, and a dump bucket. The best part, it's gated. There is a seating area with a mixture of picnic tables and benches that is mostly shaded. There are restrooms nearby as well as a nice playground just outside. Next up, we head to the West Valley to Friendship Park in Avondale, another amazing gated splash pad. It has a partial shade cover, a super high fountain that shoots into the sky. There are benches inside the splash pad and restrooms just outside of the playground. I love this playground as it also has a separate playground for toddlers that is shaded. Now let's head to the East Valley to Riverwalk Park in Mesa, another great gated option. There's also a variety of water fountains, including a three foot fountain in the middle, countless little ones all around, and then 16 tall mister sprays. There's not a lot of shade at this splash pad, but there is a nice handful of benches and side seating around the pad. Restrooms are a short walk outside of the splash pad. The playground options are amazing at this park, including a huge climbing web and a toddler space. Going south a bit to Tempe, you'll find the cloud at Kiwanis Park. I love the shade structure that covers nearly all the fountains. Not only does this make it cooler for children, but parents too will enjoy being shielded from the sun. The other highlight is the thunderstorm sequence. Every 10 minutes or so, the fountains turn off and thunder sounds start from the speakers above, complete with rain falling from these upper water features. There is a covered playground near the splash pad as well. Now let's go further east to Queen Creek in the Mansell Carter Oasis Park. This one is truly special and worth a drive. The star of the splash pad is the pirate ship, complete with water fountains on deck and two slides. There are also two playgrounds in different locations and a dig zone. Kids will love it. Let's head north again to Fountain Hills. This splash pad was a pleasant surprise. The water features were a blast, including sneaky buckets of water. The playground was epic with three different sections to keep kids happy. The play space for older kids had an awesome climbing structure, slide and rock wall. The little ones had their own special area and my personal favorite was the music section. This is for sure worth the drive. Last but certainly not least, this one is for the parents. Located in Central Phoenix, Lucy's at the Orchard will delight everyone. The outdoor space is beautifully lined with citrus trees and offers a spacious covered dog-friendly patio. With its extensive menu of food, as well as a sweet gelato spot, it's the perfect complement to an afternoon of splashing around in cool waters. So grab a cold pressed juice, latte, or even a mimosa, and let those kids burn off some energy. Want to know more about other splash pads in Phoenix? Check out the link in the description for all of the details. If you found this video helpful and want to be the first to know about all things Phoenix, Arizona living, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, stay cool.